our families through a block party and invited the other creatures from the neighborhood. That way, you could meet them all at once. What a wonderful idea. A dinosaur block party. We're gonna have a dinosaur block party? That sounds like fun. We could all compare features. And play games. And have contests. And eat bugs. But aren't the bugs our neighbors, too? I guess. Oh. I never thought about it before. Enough about bugs. We've got a party to plan, and I love parties. Let's have the party on the beach. It's a great place for a picnic. Vlog party, vlog party, vlog party, vlog party. Did someone say block party? Yeah! We're inviting all the species from the neighborhood. Great. Uh, are they here yet? Nope. We have to actually invite them first. Hey, let's go to the train station and tell the conductor about it. He can help us tell everyone that lives at the Big Pond. That's a wonderful idea. After all, the Big Pond is right down the coast, so those creatures are our neighbors, too. Yeah, like Adam Atticus. And Eugene, you have Plocephalus. And Patricia Paleobatracus. She's a frog. And the bees. The bees. Well, we can ask them. They're all welcome to our block party. Can I help somehow with the food, maybe? Oh, yeah. What kind of food should we have? Oh, I'm not sure, buddy. There's so much food we'll have to find when you consider all the different creatures. Some are herbivores. Like Lambiosaurus. We eat plants. And some are carnivores, like T-Rexes. We eat meat. We could make the party a potluck. <laughs> What's a potluck? Well, that means all the different guests bring their own favorite foods to the picnic. This is so great! Everyone's eating their own favorite food. Yep, the carnivores brought meat and the herbivores brought plants. And the troodons brought both. <laughs> We're omnivores. Even the bees found something to eat. They're eating the nectar from inside the flowers. Yeah, the bees help the flowers grow, and then the flowers and plants feed the herbivores. I have a hypothesis. The different plants and creatures that live here in our neighborhood all depend on each other to live. Excellent hypothesis, buddy. And the creatures living in this neighborhood all share the place they live in together. It's called a habitat. A habitat. Good word. It is a good word. To make a habitat work, you need everyone, from the tiniest little plant to the biggest meat eater. <laughs> we all have an important part to play in what we call our ecosystem. Ecosystem, an even better word. Your nest is amazing. Did you build it yourself? Corey and I did. We dug the nest and put some plants and leaves over the eggs. It keeps them warm. Look. Oh, so sweet. Adorable. I sit with my eggs to make sure they're warm and safe. And to be here when they hatch, of course. But you don't sit on your eggs because you don't want to smush them, right? Too much posterior pressure. <laughs> You're right, Tiny. I think I may be just a little too big to sit on these eggs. Oh, Corrine, here's a little something in honor of the big day. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Goodness, I think my eggs are hatching. Look, they're moving. That means the babies must be moving inside. You're right, buddy. It's time. Look, a crack. They're hatching, they're hatching. Aww. Aww. Mama, mama. <laughs> no, babies. We're not your mama. We're your friends. I'm Buddy, and this is my sister Tiny. That's your mama. That's right, little ones. I am your mommy, and I love you with all my heart. And I'm your sister. I'm Cory. <coughs> Whoa, they just hatched, and they already can hoot. <coughs> Look, they're doing the I just hatched and hooted baby dance. Chwang, 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 chwang. 26 species are on board. Yeah, we have every dinosaur in the song from ABC to XYZ. Yeah. Um, you guys, I hate to say this, but I think we forgot the letter X. <gasps> the letter X? That's Xenotarsosaurus. I don't think we ever picked up a Xenotarsosaurus. 
Did someone say Xenotarsosaurus? I'm Xavier Xenotarsosaurus. Oh, we're so happy you're here. Me too. So, you must be the ones with the big A to Z idea. Yes, and you're our letter X. When did you get on board? A while ago. I have been hanging out with the other theropod dinosaurs. They told me about Tiny's plan. So, I hear we are going to... Welcome, everyone, to the Dinosaurs A to Z picnic. Let's hear from the Hootin' Hadrosaurs. Carnivores! Them. First one to touch this tree is the winner. Ready? Horn <laughs> <laughs> and only win again. But you almost won, Mrs. Conductor. Thanks, Tiny. I've been practicing. <sighs> Mr. Conductor, it's so wonderful that you helped to make this all happen. Oh, it was my pleasure, Mrs. P. What do you say we all go back there and see? The caboose? Come on, everyone. Hello, Mrs. Giganotosaurus. Hello, buddy. Hello, Pteranodon family. Hi, Laura. You know what, buddy? There's a couple of friends of yours in the caboose. I wonder if you'd remember them. Really? Who? Well, one of them has three horns and a big bony frill. Tank Triceratops? And I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. Tank! Hi, buddy. Hi, too. Oh, yes. And there's another friend in the caboose. She has a crest that hoots. Cory Carithosaurus? <laughs> Hi, buddy. I almost forgot. Two friends of yours, twins. <gasps> and they're very, very fast dinosaurs. Orin and Ollie Ornithomimus? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi, oh, Mrs. B. And you must be Mr. B. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Laura. Hi, Cory. Hi, Jake. Did we miss anybody? Hi, everyone. Is there anyone else in the caboose? One more. She's got teeth like yours, <laughs> three toe feet, and two fingered hands. Any Tyrannosaurus! Buddy! <laughs> I do! Don, it's your line. Go ahead. Huh? Oh, surprise! Happy birthday, buddy! <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, sorry I'm late. I move kind of slow. We, we move, move really fast. fast. Yeah, happy birthday. Wow. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> and happy birthday to you, too, Tiny, Shiny, and Dawn. <gasps> we all hatched the same day. Wow. Happy birthday to all of you wonderful kids. Buddy, I couldn't believe you said you didn't want to come today. You always want to ride the dinosaur train. <laughs> well, your surprise sure worked. I'm so glad we surprised you. It was really hard for me not to tell you about the party. You kept the secret really well. What? I am so proud of you, Dawn. Okay, buddy, <laughs> cover your eyes. What? More surprises? Woo-hoo! Coming through! Open your eyes! Shaped like the dinosaur train. In your favorite flavor, meat. Come on, everybody, let's eat. Yeah! <laughs> dinosaur, once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.